who are some of the key personalities or leaders in the Chiefs locker room right now that you've seen and how do they influence the team's dynamics? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of leaders here, which is unbelievable. Um, you know, every every player, you know, will speak up and um, and have an opinion and, um, you know, it just goes to show why they've been so great over the past few years. You know, there's a lot of leaders in this team. Um, obviously, you've got you've got Pat and Travitz who who mainly lead it, but everyone within the team, you know, stands up and and has an opinion, and and, and that is that that is you know unbelievable because you don't want to have any anyone who's, who's shy, and um, you want to have those those leaders that are gonna you know push you on when time when times are tough. So um, yeah, there's a lot of leaders in this squad, and and that's 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 definitely one of the reasons why they've been so great. Yeah, um, how would you compare the intensity and demands of strength and conditioning in rugby to that of the NFL? And is there a noticeable leap in the level of training required? Uh, so I'd say, obviously, rugby is a very, it's very much, it's a flowing game. Um, you know, the cardio is a lot, it's a lot more. Um, this is more short and sharp bursts, um, which is which is probably more tiring, to be honest with you. Um, it's very intense. You know, it's very stop start, but you've got to be, you know, extremely um the the way you gotta put your body through certain movements and um as I say, because it's so stop start, you have to burst, you know, it'll be like 10 second bursts and then it'll stop. 10 second burst stop. Whereas rugby is very much a flowing game and um and being able to run for long periods of time. Um so they're probably the two differences in on the field, um, off the field, the movements are very, are very different. I mean, rugby is very much, um, you know, you squat, you bench, um, whereas here's a lot of Olympic lifting um, and just like different movements because you need to be able to cut off, cut off any angle, um, especially for me as a running back, I need to cut off any angle very sharp as well. So I'd say, you know, in the gym, they're, they're definitely movements that are completely different to rugby because um, rugby is very much of a flowing game and, and you can take arcs, whereas in the in the NFL, you've got to be able to change direction very quick. So, um, yeah, they're the two differences. So you're going to be only the third running back in Chiefs history to wear a single digit number at number nine. Did you know that that was a stat that was out there? And if so, were you aware of it? Uh, I mean, not really, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cool to hear, but um, you know, I'm, I'm not too focused on my number, to be honest. I, I mean, I've got to make the team, and and to in order to do that, I've got to, I've got to work hard every single day. Um, you know, I got to impress the coaches however I can. I can, I've got to show, you know, why I deserve to be here. Um, and I just got to keep working hard, to be honest with you. I'm not really focused on the number on my back. I'm, I'm focused on how I can help the team as much as possible.